Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and today we're unboxing another one of the L dolls. Um, I, like I said, I'm totally obsessed with them. They, they are so beautiful. At least the ones that I've gotten so far are beautiful. Um, this one, um, I don't remember which one this is, um, but I'm gonna go ahead and get the package open. Yes, it came from Amazon. Uh, the L dolls don't have their own official store. They have a dot .com, they have LDoll.com, they have um, an eBay store, I think, and they, and they have uh, an Amazon store, which is what I got purchased them from. Okay, I got her out. This one didn't come in a box. It's funny, the other two did, and I wonder if it's because they came from the factory, like, they were, like, in a stock room at eBay or something. But she's in a box. Oh my gosh, her hair is braided. See, I, I wasn't sure if her hair was going to come braided or if it was going to come long because it showed it long and braided in the pictures. But uh, we have an Eldol sticker on it. And it says, um, Eldol Alice Very Long Hair. So this is Alice. I, for some reason, thought that I already had Alice. I thought this was a different doll. I think that it might have been mislabeled. Um, on summer end, but anyway, we're gonna get her open. Now, the description that I that uh, where I bought her from said that her name was Anthea, and her tag says that her name is Alice. So I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna go with this Anthea because I already have a girl whose name's Alice, and she doesn't look like her at all. She doesn't even have the same color eye hair, uh, eye color. So, so let's see here. We have a brush, which um, none of our other girls came with brushes. Um. So that's a plus. That's a plus, I guess. And the, the brush that she comes with is pretty detailed, but it shows her as a mermaid. So I don't get it, really. <laughs> but it's, it's, it's a beautiful brush. Um, let's see. And then she also comes with a purse, which is really cool. Um, a deep yellow purse. It doesn't look like... It might open, actually. It might actually open. Um... Yeah, I think it opens. It's not really that best quality of a purse, but I like the detail work on it. So it does open. I'm not really sure if it's supposed to open or not, but I guess you could put things in it if you really wanted to. As for Anthea herself, say hi to Blaze first. Hi, Blaze. <laughs> um, she has brown eyes, which I think she has dark brown eyes. She has a... Um, she has rooted lashes, and she has a really light, whitish tan, whitish tan, uh, eyeshadow, if you guys can see that at all. And she is wearing, um, she is, her hair is parted, and it's done in braids, and her, her hair is really, really long. Um, the display showed her with long hair braided and long hair not braided. She does have a um, pretty good amount of articulation. She is articulated in her shoulders. And she is articulated in her elbow. And she is articulated in her, on her hands. Um, or her wrists, I mean. Uh, she also is articulated in her neck. Uh, goes back and forth. And her knees, her knee joints, bend. And I believe her, her um, she has these really, really cool shoes that actually match pretty well. Uh, these yellow, really, really cool yellow shoes. I don't even know how to describe them. Look at the detail work. Can you guys see that? How it's like a corkscrew, like a, a swirly, twisty heel. And and then uh, they're very high fashion heels, by the way. <laughs> I think, anyway. Uh, let's go ahead and see if we can remove them and see what's going on with her, her feet. Okay, so her feet... Her feet don't have any articulation. They do, It does point. Uh, she's a point toe. High heel toe, I guess you want to call it. Um... She is a little bit loose. Her joints are loose. I don't know if that's um, just the doll that I got or if it's um, all of them. Just around the middle part and, and around her, like, um, where her legs kind of pull apart, um, it's a little loose. Um, I think that they are strong dolls. They're, it's possibly that her, her middle is strong. I don't know. But either way, um, she's absolutely gorgeous. Uh, we have red lips um, to go with the brown eyes, and then she also has earrings. Um, this is the first time I've seen earrings in these ones. So, if I can get, um, that to, if I can get that to focus. She has like a diamond, a, a fake diamond earring. I'm assuming they're fake. <laughs> and then she has this really, really cool floral 
print dress um, with a holter type top dress. It's done in a floral print. It kind of, it kind of, she kind of looks sort of like a hippie-ish type, kind of like a hippie type style, I think. Um, and then it's open back in the back. And then I think it's a Velcro. Let's see. Yeah, it Velcros. So, and then they have built-in underwear, kind of like um, a lot of the other dolls do. Um, either way, she's got a high amount of articulation, so. It does stink that these dolls don't come with stands, but um, most dolls don't anymore. But she has really beautiful, soft, long hair, rooted eyebrows, inset eyes, I mean rooted eyelashes, inset eyes, um, lots of articulation, and really well quality made clothes, so I'm pretty excited for her. Um, that's all we have for you guys today. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys!